Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing another what's in my purse. So, as you guys know, if you have watched my vlogs, I did get a designer bag. And this is the first ever designer bag that I've ever purchased for myself. And in purchasing this, I decided that I don't have a need for all of the other bags and satchels and everything that I had started collecting. I am someone that is still very minimal. <laughs> I like the fact that like now I have a really good quality purse that's actually going to last me for a very long time. So if you guys are interested in buying any of the other bags that I I've like shown throughout like the few years on my channel. All of them will be listed on my Poshmark. There are still quite a few left, I believe. I will have my Poshmark linked down below. There's also a ton of clothes on there if you guys want to check any of that out. All the links will be down below for that. This is a Michael Kors bag. The bag itself, I literally saved this thing. This is the most expensive purse I've ever bought in my entire life. Literally $358. That's crazy, but I'm selling all of my other bags and it's literally gonna be the only bag that I use and I've had it for a month now and so far it is the only bag that I use. The exact name of the bag is the Mercer Medium Pebbled Leather Belted Satchel. I have this screenshot on my phone. I will go ahead and pop it up right here for you guys and that way you guys can see like the exact thing on the Michael Kors website, um, but that is the exact bag that I have. So this bag I believe can hold like up to like a certain amount of weight. I wanna say it was like 40 pounds or something like it was like a crazy weight and I was like okay I'm sold. I love structured bags so much and I love that it literally has a flat bottom and like the legs on the bottom so it can just like sit wherever you place it. That was something that I was looking for in any bag that I was ever buying and I just never felt like I found that because I was always buying like the cheaper bags because I never really I didn't know if I wanted to invest into a designer bag until recently when I started working for myself and I was like this is something that I think I really want it's something that I've like been looking into for a while but you know wasn't quite sure on walked into the Michael Kors store saw this bag and I was sold so this is their satchel. It has the long strap here, which is what I typically use to carry it. And then it also has like the two handles here. So you can hold it like that if you prefer. What I love about this bag is that it has so much room. You wouldn't think that there's as much room as there is, but there's quite a bit of room in here. Um, so the bag itself, I have it <laughs> zipped and unzipped and open for you guys. So there's a side pocket right here on the front. There's also another side pocket here on the back. So there's plenty of storage outside the purse. And then inside it is like one giant opening. And then there's a few pockets inside and a few pockets and a zipper on the back. I'll show you guys like once we empty out the entire contents of my purse. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a time crunch, so I'm gonna hopefully get through all of this very quickly. So let's get started. Very first thing that you guys can see hanging off the side is my keys. I always get questions about this puffball. I believe it's from H&M. So keys are a number one. Next up in here, my bag, I will be honest, is a complete mess. It's not as clean as it usually is. So this is like a full what's in my bag. <laughs> So I have this little um, zipper pouch. This is from Dolce Vita and inside here is typically where I keep all of my lip products and like makeup stuff. As I can see, there's another one down there. So I'm going to pop this one in here. So I just have the Burt's Bees Peony Lip Shimmer in here and quite a few other lip products. We also have another Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Champagne. I have a Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Novel, I believe. This is like a super old one. Then I have a NYX lip liner. It is in the number 803. It's the shade Burgundy. I have my Kylie Liquid Matte Lip. This is in the shade 20. This is the one you guys see me wear literally all the time. And then I also have a gloss. This is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Gloss in Naked. Love this stuff to put over top of literally anything that I have on my lips. I have a little bit left on my lips right now. So that is usually what is kept in here. Actually, I lied. There's two more things in here. <laughs> so I also keep hand sanitizer in my purse. This is a big one for me. So this is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus in Spearmint. And then I always like to keep tampons in my bag because you never know when it's going to strike. I mean, usually you do but like sometimes you don't always know so it's always handy to have one this is by the brand Cora I love them I've talked about them a bunch they are a great organic tampon brand moving on I do have my deck of tarot cards in here this is the universal weight tarot deck as you guys know if you watched my last vlog 
I am trying to learn how to read tarot cards. It's something that I'm personally very interested in. I know everyone has like mixed opinions about tarot and spirituality and like astrology, all that kind of stuff, but personally that's something that I'm interested in. So I'm heading up to my friend's house after I film this bag, <laughs> film this bag, film this video. So that's why these are in my bag. Next up in here, we have a receipt for TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I actually bought quite a few things. I think I might do a Home Goods tour. If you guys are interested in like seeing what I purchased, comment down below and let me know and I can film a haul for you guys. Then I have my sunglasses. These are my absolute favorite sunglasses. These are by the brand Life by Her Co. It's one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. Her name is Ashley Brooks. She runs a, a online store. She also has like a magazine. I swear it's like $5 a month. I think she upped it to seven actually recently. But if you guys are super into fashion and you love the New York street style, she does an amazing job at that. She literally like pulls off anything that she puts together. Um, her YouTube channel is just Ashley Brook. If you guys wanna look her up and you can look into all of her stuff, but that is the brand of sunglasses that you guys always see me wearing. All right, next up in here, we have some perfume. I normally don't carry this full thing with me all the time, but I am heading to my friend's house to stay with her, so I toss this in here. This is the Gucci Guilty Perfume. I love this stuff. This is my like go-to perfume. Next up in here we have my wallet. This is the Marc Jacobs New York wallet. Um, it just has cash in here, um, my cards, everything, stuff like that. I also see some other cash floating in my purse and I'm like, what? I didn't even know I had this much cash in here. I'm literally, like, I literally never have cash, so this is kind of funny. If any of my friends are watching this, you know I literally never have cash on me. Okay, so that is the wallet that I currently have. Then I also have a bunch of other random stuff. This is so unorganized. I'm so, like, disappointed in myself right now. <laughs> um, number one thing, it's my EpiPens for all of my allergies. Always keep these on hand. I have a SIM card in here because we are SIM card. This is an SD card. I have an SD card in here because I'm going to be filming at my friends later and I'm going to need an extra one if we use her camera and stuff like that. Um, so random, but I also have two packages of Skittles in here. When I was in my class the other night, my professor made us grab a candy and then we had to write like a product description for it. And my friend was like, I don't want to eat these. So she gave them to me and I was like, all right, I'll probably not eat them either, but they're still in here. This also usually goes in my Dolce Vita container. So this is just some Advil. I'm actually gonna put this back in here while we're going through my purse. I always have hair ties in my purse just because you never know when you're gonna need one. I also have this Crayola Super Tip Marker. Um, this I use as like a highlighter when I'm in class a lot of the times. So I have this in there. I also have my AirPods. These are so handy anytime I am out and about working. We have another tampon at the bottom of my bag. This is another Cora tampon, so we're gonna pop that back in this container. I also just found another hair tie, so we're gonna put that in there. I have a gum wrapper. That's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> okay, we have another lip product. I should put this away too. This is the Pillow Plump by Soap and Glory. This stuff literally will plump up your lips like crazy. I think I'm actually gonna put this on right now. This is like the most tingly stuff that I've ever used. This is their XXL pillow plump. So if you're looking for like some plumpy lips, that sounds weird, plumpy lips. If you're looking for some lip plump, that stuff's amazing. I also like to keep some Tums. This is just like the little travel container that they have. I always keep Tums in my purse because sometimes I'll get like an upset stomach or like something like that and it's just nice to have this with me. So now I can kind of show you guys what the inside of the bag looks like now that most of it is emptied out. Um, so as you guys can see, there's a zipper pouch in the back here. I think you can kind of see that. And then another like pouch kind of right here. And then on this side, there is I don't know why this feels so difficult for me right now. There's two pouches right here to like put other stuff in. Let's continue to go through that. In the back zipper pouch, I have a hairbrush. This is always handy to have because you never know when you're gonna need to brush your hair. I also have a pack of gum. This is just the extra winter fresh gum. I love extra gum. It's my favorite, so I always keep some of that in my purse. I also, as you guys know, my best friend is the gem goddess on YouTube. She sells crystals and does tarot readings for a living. She's amazing at it. She gave me these two crystals right when I quit my job and decided to pursue YouTube full time and like all of this. And it was so sweet. She gave these to me and she was like, I want you to have these because 
this is a time in your life where I feel like you're really going to benefit from these and these are going to really help you like manifest what you want and like go after those dreams that you're chasing. I don't know the exact two names of these but I will go ahead and look for them and I'll put them on the screen for you guys. So this one as you guys can see is like a very pretty purpley brown kind of stone and this one is so cool. It's like clear but pink. I love it. Um, I will leave the names up here for you guys but I always keep those with me. This is the other one that she gave me that said it will help manifest everything and like bring in those good vibes. I will have to place the name of this one on the screen as well for you guys, but this is another crystal that I always carry on my purse. Okay, then moving on to the other pouches on the other side, we've got quite a few things. I have another Crayola marker for highlighting. I have the Kat Von D Perfume in Center. I have my favorite pen. This is the Pilot G207 pen. Literally the only ones that I like to write with, honestly. I also, oh. This is my iPad pencil. This should be attached to my iPad, but it's not at the moment. So I'm gonna keep that in my purse so when I'm looking for that, I know exactly where it is. I also have a pencil in here. I have two pens. These are the ones that I like writing um, my in my planner with. These are the Stadler, Stadler. I don't know how to say these, I'm so sorry. Um, pigment liners in 01 and 03. And if you guys know me, I spill stuff on myself all the time, so I always have a Tide pen in my purse because you never know when you're going to need it. I also have another lip color. Apparently, I never have enough lip color in my purse. <laughs> this is the Tarte Glossy Paint in the shade Gifts. <laughs> I think these were like a holiday collection a while ago. And then I also have another super stretchy hair tie. All right, and in one of the front pockets of my purse, I have a receipt that I need to hold on to for my window tinting so I can get that's redone um and then i also have these two polaroids which i need to give to liana so i'm gonna give those to her and leave those in my purse because i'm gonna go see her soon and then do we have anything else on the other side nope that is it that is everything that i keep in this little bag i love it it's amazing i love the black and gold as you guys know i literally only wear like gold jewelry except for like a few other pieces that I have, I only have a few pieces of silver jewelry, but I don't mind mixing metals. But I am definitely like a gold metal person at heart. So I love this. This thing is my baby. It's amazing. If you guys have ever been thinking about going for a designer bag, definitely do it when you have the money, when you can afford it, because it's definitely something that's worth investing in because this kind of bag is definitely going to hold up much longer than any like $20 Forever 21 bag. And I've learned that over the years. I just never had the money to splurge on one and I finally did. So here we have my new designer bag. And I'm literally just like so excited. I love carrying this background and it pretty much goes with absolutely everything. That's what I love about it. I will go ahead and leave the link to the bag down below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll catch you guys in my next video.